seems people have this idea that all those high beings are all powerful, if they were, why has this been going on for at least 200,000 years, we should not even be here anymore if they were that powerful. Don't you realize that you are here for a reason, not to let anyone else do the work, but you yourself do the work. This is why we are here. There are many dark beings out there just as powerful. And yes they are and have been interfering with the work that is being done by the higher beings that do work with us. But their help is limited since we do have a veil around us that prevents us from seeing it all completely. For me the removal of the J seals, was an eye opener, I was seeing inside and outside this universe and all at the same time. Through dimensions as well. Just get real and see that we are the ones here to do the work, with help but the work needs to be done by us. I know it's hard, and the info is minimal. We have been experiencing a lot of others sort of stealing our info and misusing it so we're just a bit careful about what is being said. And my reaction was more to the person saying they ascended, I am personally experiencing the process of moving toward cosmic ascension and it's hard. I know for myself the outlook on what is happening changed and seeing more multidimensional and being able to see outside of this universe is different than all we see as truth here on earth. These seals are still there being the fifth dimension and higher. Yes, it is a choice to see the truth or not. It is not as simple as many make it, like I said before if these higher beings or ascended beings were so powerful why are we at all here going through all this? This is not just the earth and us on it, there are many universes out there and multi-dimensional being or not. Ascended or not, we still have to deal with reality in this universe but also outside this universe. Seems people rather close their eyes and think everything will be okay I cannot see anything. The seals in our universe have been there for thousands of years, they have been in us for thousands of years. The planetary shield is so damaged that it is almost beyond repair, most beings say it is beyond repair. It is not a bad case scenario, it is just what it is. We can do something about it or not. Lisa Renee information is coming from Mash and Dean, if you read her books you will find out that everyone has them and they were placed 200,000 years ago. This is how the veil is constantly giving disinformation. Yes. Many have reached planetary ascension, this is not cosmic ascension, yes you will be seen as a different person. Planetary ascension is where you reach a certain light quotient in the physical body, yes you will start living more in a fifth dimensional frequency. The ascension is an ongoing process at all times. It does not stop. Every time you move into a higher frequency you ascend. You are all bringing in the victim consciousness yourself by seeing a message that is there to assist and make you aware of something that is needed to move forward is making you a victim. New knowledge can be revealed when you go into higher frequencies. I suggest you go on to the Azure Right Press website and find all that Lisa Renee is suggesting. Good luck, I know people that have done it through the Azure Right Press and it takes between 18 months to 2 years to remove them going through many of the teachings. The new knowledge becoming available has certain frequencies and can only be understood at certain frequencies. Dean says in her book only 500 people are working on cosmic ascension all others are going through planetary ascension. Planetary ascension goes as far as the fifth dimension which starts to happen after your planetary ascension, from there you go into the process of cosmic ascension. This is what is mentioned in the message, the seals allow you just enough progress so you feel you have achieved something, while it's preventing you from fully achieving full consciousness. Living in a fifth dimensional frequency is not full consciousness it is fifth dimensional consciousness. There are many universes outside our planet that have already long surpassed the fifth dimension and guess what, they are not all nice and they don't play nice. I can only come from my own experience, my chakras were already balanced and actually several weeks after the removal they changed into electrons, but that's a different story. Like someone else said, Ashi and Adian's book are great. Doesn't mean it is all true. 
When reading the book I was shown everything from a source level and would find words I needed to explain some things in the book. Sherry and I have been working with implants many times and it is part of what we do for the people in our classes. And yes those implants go up higher than third. Cosmic ascension is to me the goal, and for me going through this process is to be able to teach all that we experience so we can assist others. Yes, I cannot reach the whole world, but we are spreading and part of what I intend to do is make people more aware. Even if I upset some along the way. You can be diplomatic about it or just say the plain truth. I go for the truth. There are different forms of ascension planetary and cosmic. Once you have finished planetary you have a choice to also do cosmic ascension. Cosmic ascension is where you can completely transform your physical body into light. This is a huge process and many might not even choose to take this path. The fear is coming from other people who seems to add that every time something is posted they don't like. Like someone said I never found the right word for it but denialist is a good one. It is not about imperfection, it is about raising our frequency, in spirit we are already perfect and when we leave this time frame we have already ascended. If we would ask our future self, and this is how I see it, it would tell us. It is funny when people say they are already perfect, we have been living like this for over 200.000 years, in old mystery schools this was all common knowledge and they worked on it every time they incarnated. If we were perfect we would not be here, we would be living in a world created by us and without limitations. I would say, why do you think it is more limitation, more problems, more things to overcome and more fear? Why is that in your consciousness? I have never experienced it that way, I have always seen many things as the next step that enables me to reach a higher frequency of light. To release the density that is in my physical 3D body and even in our energy bodies.